Ross Bicycles Inc. manufactured over 15 million bicycles under the Ross brand, between 1946 and 1988. The company began in Williamsburg, New York, later moving its headquarters and manufacturing to Rockaway Beach, Queens. The headquarters remained in Rockaway when manufacturing was later moved to Allentown, Pennsylvania. Sherwood Ross retooled the Allentown, Pennsylvania factory and experimented in unrelated bicycle endeavors involving government contracts that put immense strain on the corporation's financials. Randy Ross moved Ross Bicycles Manufacturing to Taiwan to keep margins competitive and bicycle manufacturing profitable, but the decision to keep the Allentown factory working on government contracts, ultimately led to the company's demise and bankruptcy in 1988. Ross competed domestically with bicycle manufacturers including Schwinn and Huffy, and was noted as a pioneering manufacturer of mountain bikes. History Ross was started by Albert Ross as Ross Galvanizing Works in 1940. Manufacturing and galvanizing pipes and pipe fittings for the fencing industry and later galvanized steel parts for military ships during World War II. After World War II, it was incorporated as Chain Bike Corp. in 1946. Ross First Factory was on Kent Avenue in Williamsburg, New York, near the Schaefer Brewery and the Brooklyn Navy Yard. The company moved to Beach 79th Street in Rockaway Beach, Queens, now Far Rockaway, sometime around 1960. The company was renamed Ross Bicycles Inc. on May 21, 1982, and in 1973 manufacturing was moved to a new, purpose-built plant in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The Allentown factory was said to be retooled for government contracts by Sherwood Ross. Ross moved bicycle production to Taiwan in 1986 to keep the margins profitable, but the government contracts and immense financial strain from the Allentown factory's unsuccessful government endeavors led to Ross Bicycles filling for bankruptcy protection in 1988. In addition to bicycles, Ross manufactured ammunition boxes for the U.S. government at its Lehigh facility and cited the government contract as the source of its financial difficulties at the time of filing for Chapter 11 protection. The Ross name was purchased by Rand Cycle in Farmingdale, New York, which suffered a recall of 11,000 mountain bikes in 1998. Randy Ross, grandson of Albert, introduced a stair-stepper bike in 2007. Randy Ross and his son Sean Ross re-established Ross Bicycles in 2017 on July 31. Albert Ross son Sherwood Jerry B. Ross 1921 was CEO of Ross Bicycles from 1946 to 1990, held several bicycle-related patents, served as president of the Bicycle Institute of America and the Bicycle Manufacturers Association and acted as an expert witness in product liability cases. Bicycles Ross began making bicycles in 1946, and by the late 1960s, Ross manufactured about one million bicycles per year. By 1985, it had sold 10 million bicycles. The company, still known as Chain Bicycle Corporation, marketed bikes under the Ross brand, including children's bikes as well as BMX, touring, cruiser, mountain, racing, wheelie, and stationary exercise bicycles. In 1968, Ross joined the muscle bike craze with models such as the Marlin with a console mounted stick brake, the Barracuda with a chrome twin stick shift console, and the Barracuda Beast with a Futura sports car steering wheel. In 1982, Ross introduced one of the first production mountain bikes, the Force One at Interbike, and in 1983, they launched the first professional factory sponsored mountain bike race team, the Ross Indians. With the rising popularity of mountain bikes, Randolph Randy Ross, Sherwood Ross's son and executive vice president of Ross Bicycles Inc., said in The New York Times, these bikes are one of the biggest things that ever happened to the biking industry. Its basic look constitutes a total shift in image for the industry. 
By 1989, Niall Nims, at the time a vice president at Ross Bicycles and later founder of Cycle Force Group, said 40% of bicycle sales were mountain bikes, adding, we see a lot of people who previously owned the dropped bar 10 speed bike buying the wide tire bikes, they are people who don't want to ride fast, they want to ride for recreation. <laughs> 